hear me because the wind is crazy. Absolutely crazy. We are on our way to Villefranche, Le Mans. Uh, we were supposed to go all the way up to the highest train station in France, Volker, which is situated 1,600 meters up on the Pyrenees. But the, the connecting train from Villefranche to Volker was cancelled due to a strike yesterday and today. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. We are just going to go to Villefranche. There's a castle and there's something to see over there as well. But that's just the half of the journey that we planned. Uh, on the other, on one hand, I'm disappointed. But on the other hand, uh, I can understand. In SNCF, uh, the work conditions are getting worse and worse. So I support the strike. There's our train. Yeah. It's not still not um, it's on the platform. I'm gonna wait a bit, we're gonna see the station front outside. Bonjour. So this is the rugby train there's going to be a rugby world cup 2023 here and you can take the tour in the train see the exposition train yeah if i knew it would have come earlier to see it now we don't really have the time let's go and find our trade to real France. Platform E, let's go find it. As I was saying, this is uh, Perpignan, the main hub in this part of France. Uh, there are trains to the nearest biggest city in this part of France, Toulouse, which is like 200 kilometers away. And uh, of course, trains to Paris, then for the French Riviera via Avignon, and of course to Barcelona, which is not, which is like 200, 200 250 kilometers away. Okay. This is our train, local TOR. Toulouse, the city I mentioned, the biggest city in the area, 200 kilometers away, entering the station. of the local TUR, Express Regional, Regional Express Train, two hour drive, essentially the same train we are going to take now, so let's go in and check the train. Then we're gonna have to take the bus 
15 minute bus ride from Tokyo, France. At the way France was supposed to take the yellow train, but unfortunately we can't. We are mowing. Starting from the Perpignan station. Unfortunately, as you can hear, a group of children came to sit just next to us, so I won't be able to do this video. Hopefully they won't be in the same train when we go back or in the same area. And I'm gonna do the video then. I'll just I'll take some I'll take some footage anyway from here and I will not be able to speak. I'm gonna put the music over this bit. Catalonia, as you can see, all the names of the cities, villages, and streets are both in French and in Catalan. Place to live in the Mediterranean. 
can see this like 30, 40 kilometers from here. Spain is very near as well. River. Here now we have to take the bus to Villefranche and then the rail restarts. But unfortunately there won't be any trains. 
So when I bought the ticket, there was one part by train and a small part by bus. It was the same ticket and I thought that the bus was just going to the station we need to go. <laughs> but we passed the station and we we continued to go further away. Now we stopped here and we're waiting either for the bus, either we'll do the stop, auto stop to get back to Villefranche. If you don't know, it's really hard. You have to ask. I really thought the bus is going just to Villefranche and that's it. But no, it's going much, much further away in the Pyrenees. So we're gonna stop. So we have arrived back at Villefranche de Conflans. There was a nice lady who stopped for us almost immediately. It was the third car. Uh, I put my finger, two of them passed and the third one stopped. A really, really nice young lady who bring us back to Villefranche. You see up there is the castle and there are stairs that goes all the way up. We're not gonna take the train on the old train, but are we gonna see the old train at least? That's what I'm hoping for. So it's a 20 minutes walk up there. We don't have as much to spare, unfortunately. Anyway, this is the station. There it is. There it is, the yellow chain. We're gonna approach the sea as much as we can. I'm sad we're not gonna be able to ride this beautiful train. As you can see, they're all the same. There's six carriage carriages and one of them is an open carriage so you're riding in the open space <laughs> well they're gonna <laughs> make me come back here just to take this train look how beautiful it is look how beautiful it is just from the outside and you can imagine inside and the carriage with the open carriage truly really must be something the ride and it goes all the way up to the highest elevated station in France, Volcaire. 1,600 meters up in the Pyrenees. And it passes the only working train suspension bridge in France. I'm really, really sad. But, well... That's the cart we, will de we were dealt today. Now let's go see the city, the village of Villefranche, the confined village of Villefranche. And hopefully next time we're gonna take the train as well. Ah, this is the bus we took from Villefranche. As we have 20 minutes to spare, I can film the station. Prad. Well, it's a small station, nothing to film really. So this was the trip.
Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.